Have you ever felt like you're starting to lose control? Control of what is going on around you, control of your very own actions, and in the end, control of your own life. Over the last few months, I've started to feel more and more lost. In a way, it almost feels like I'm drowning. I'm becoming more and more inconsistent with my training, I'm performing worse and worse out on the field, and I'm constantly feeling drained of energy and without any proper motivation to do anything about it. It's almost like I'm being sucked into some sort of negative spiral, where it feels like these things just keeps getting worse and worse. And the positive aspects, action and habits of my life stray further and further away. And I believe that the villain in play here, that villain's name, is dopamine. Every time you're faced with a decision, dopamine will play a major part in that decision. Dopamine is a chemical within our brain that is responsible for us feeling joy and happiness and satisfaction. And it will do everything it can to make sure that we take the decisions that make us feel these pleasant feelings which triggers that release of dopamine. Once that dopamine is released, we feel great, like we can do anything. However, the big problem with dopamine is that if you keep feeding the dopamine receptors with what they want, those dopamine receptors in your brain will eventually start to crave more and more for you to feel the benefits, and that is where the real problems kick in. It may start in one area of your life, but if left unchecked for a longer period, you run the risk of spiraling out of control, where you are no longer in control of your life. Dopamine is. And I believe that this is exactly what has happened to me. I need to get back in control before it's too late. That is why, over the course of the next seven days, I'll go through what is called a dopamine detox. What is a dopamine detox, you may ask? A dopamine detox is a process where you're actively making that decision to stay away from the things that make you feel good in the short term, but may be damaging for you in the long term, in an attempt to break that cycle of addiction of constant dopamine hits. This process may look different for everyone, depending on what struggles you face in your current life. You may be constantly scrolling through social media, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. You may be eating unhealthy foods. You may be binge watching entire TV shows, even when you know that you've got more important things to do. That is why it's important that we establish guidelines to help us in this process. It's time to set the rules. For these detox, I'll set a few rules that are geared to my biggest issues. Caffeine is one. It started off as something I only consumed for its performance benefits for me out on the pitch, but where I'm now after several years instead become reliant on it to get through my day. Over the last few months, I've also developed the habit of consuming more and more junk food, which we all know doesn't bring any positive effects into our lives other than short-term gratification. Social media is another. I find myself more and more scrolling through TikTok and Instagram until late at night instead of getting that important sleep that I need. I will also try to stay away from all forms of entertainment, whether that's movies or TV shows on Netflix, YouTube videos, or even just listening to music. I want to try and silence my mind for these seven days and see where that takes me. Hopefully, I will then be able to replace these bad habits with positive ones and spark a change within my current life to get back in control. Will I succeed? I have no idea, but I'm dying to find out. Welcome to Dopamine Detox, The Footballer Reset. How did I end up in this spot and why do I need 
to do a dopamine detox? Well, I think it's because over the last few months, last few weeks, I felt pretty overwhelmed. And when I felt overwhelmed, that has led to me wanting to be comfortable to combat me being uncomfortable, if that makes sense. Because when we're uncomfortable, that is usually when we grow. And over the last few months, weeks, I've felt that I've started to go into a place of comfort too often, and that has led me to procrastinate from doing the things that I need to do to progress in my life, like my training and and making videos and uh, all that sort of stuff. And some of these habits, like caffeine, that is something that has been built up over the last four or five years, uh, to a point where I'm truly reliant on caffeine to get through my day and I don't want to be in a place like that where I'm reliant on other things to be able to live a normal life so that is a cycle that I want to break but also over the last few weeks I've found myself staying up late watching TV shows watching YouTube videos I found myself more and more eating unhealthy foods sweets uh, ice cream and I just feel like I've reached a, a particular point where I have to do something and then a dopamine detox seemed like a reasonable thing to do. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while. I wanted to try and to see the effects that it has on my life. Now it's only gonna be for seven days, but I'll hopefully that will be a spark for me to be able to keep progressing and to keep getting back to those great habits that I will compound uh, together and get me back into a place where I wanna be. And the first part of forming those great habits again was to start by making a proper breakfast. And our breakfast is really the most important meal of our day as it sets us up for what we're about to pursue during the day. And this is something that I've not neglected, but I've not been very consistent in preparing a proper breakfast for the last weeks because my mind has been occupied with other things and I simply haven't prioritized the time to make that proper breakfast for myself. But now during this dopamine detox, the first thing we're gonna get is an omelette made out of six eggs and some feta cheese. One of my absolute favorite breakfasts as it's almost entirely made up of protein, it fills you up really well and it also helps in enhancing your recovery and that muscle repair. After breakfast, I went straight to the gym to carry out a lighter lower body session. And when I got home, I was so incredibly tired, maybe because I didn't consume caffeine in the morning, but I had to take a nap for an hour. And then I got some lunch, some chicken, some rice and some vegetables. Absolutely delicious. So I just about had my lunch and uh, then I just wanted to, you know, when I'm not allowed to go on social media and stay in my bed and watch some YouTube videos, I usually do that after I've had some food, but now I just felt the sun was out, it's an absolutely beautiful day, a bit cold, but we're heading in the right direction at least, but I just felt that, yeah, let's head out for a few, few minutes, 15-20 minutes, go for a walk, get some blood flow in and just be out in the sun because I always feel so much better afterwards. It releases a lot of good hormones in the body and you know, feel just feel a lot more happy. So, just about got home from uh, the team training, and uh, I'm not playing at a good level at all at the moment. I'm missing a lot of opportunities, my first touch is bad, my dribbling is bad, and, you know, everything I've said is just reinforced and it shows in my performance. But I know from experience that if I keep up with the work, I know that things will turn around, and this detox is one of the ways that I want to turn things around again and I'm confident that I'm doing the right things to get back on track. It's just that sometimes I, I got so angry after training, 
I just left and I didn't want to talk to anyone really. Um, but you know, it just goes to show that I care for what I do. And, uh, but I'm confident I'll get back on track. But I guess I will just get some dinner and go to bed and then see you tomorrow. So we're into day two of the dopamine detox and today has been a good day so far. Last night I actually went to bed at half past eight and I slept until 6.30 and I got a good nine hours of sleep and I haven't slept that long for, I can't remember. And then I went to the pitch just to get a small session in. I thought about going for a walk but I just figured let's just head to the pitch and get a few touches on the ball. And since then, I've really just been at home editing this video that you're watching right now. And today is really the first day in a very long time that I haven't felt tired at one single point during the entire day. It's almost 3 p.m. in the afternoon now and I'm about to head to training in a couple of hours. But usually at some point and before lunch or after lunch, I have this crash of energy, but I haven't had that today. And I suspect that it's about the caffeine and that I slept nine hours. And hopefully we can keep this up, we'll see. And I'm currently out for a little bit of an afternoon walk here in this beautiful place in Trollhättan, just by the water. And we got the forest behind us here. And I just wanted to get some air, get some sunlight uh, after having been mostly inside today editing this video. But yeah, I feel really good and I have a lot of energy, which is great. You know, meditation is one of those activities that at least I, and I think this applies for a lot of people, is something that you you don't take the time to do. You just write it off because you got more important things to do, and I get that, and I never take the time to do meditation. But now during this week when I really can't do much else other than either work on the videos, go to training, and when I'm at home in the evening, there's a lot of time that is just dead time and I figure why not try to get into the habit of meditation because I can feel just after a few minutes just you become so much more present and de-stressed. Day three was probably the most productive day that I've had in the detox so far. I went to school in the morning and I managed to get a lot of work done on an assignment that I have procrastinated on for very long. And then I went home and edited this video and a few other ones for four to five hours straight. And also managed to film some B-roll for these videos before turning into bed at 9 p.m. And I think this is definitely a noticeable improvement compared to before I started this detox. And I think the reason for this is number one, because I'm getting more sleep. I'm sleeping for eight to nine hours a night compared to five or six hours before. And that has led to me having better mental clarity, which in turn has led me to be able to focus better and prioritize better during my day. And it has also made it so much more fun. Just the editing is something that I really haven't had the motivation to do and I haven't had much joy in it for the last few weeks and months. 
but now I'm sitting there in front of my computer editing these videos and just smiling because I think it's so fun to package them together and then with the knowing that I'm gonna be able to share that with you later on. And I think what all this boils down to in the end is the choice of focus and the ability to being able to choose what I want to focus on compared to having that choice made for me, which was what I felt before I made this detox. I couldn't really focus on what I wanted to do and instead I was consumed by all these other things on the side. So definitely a noticeable improvement and I'm excited to head into day four. Just can't always clock the pace been falling off for days. Can't wait to take my chances in tornado from Kansas. The coast seems too close to oceans. They hold to rolling and shake the land of the owners. So put their hands up and dip with benefits. Big fish never get caught, won't flinch. I caught hooks in spots where I swim. Been landlocked. These landlords want what I cannot give to get. I must take up, can't evaporate, I won't stay stuck This backward state, I won't shape up Don't know my place, I gotta make it up So another morning session done and I felt really great this morning. I felt really sharp. I woke up at 6 a.m. and I felt really motivated to go and train. And it's been a really long time since I felt that motivated to get up in the morning and get out on the field. So that was really nice and I got a really good session in. I felt sharp in the finishing. The dribbling starts to get back on track and I'm feeling like I'm heading in the right direction. So that is incredible. But now I'm super hungry. So I need to get home and make some breakfast and then take on the rest of the day. Let's go. So it's later in the evening and I just came home from team training and I have to say this was 100% the best performance that I put in training for a long time. I don't know if it's this detox that's doing its thing, but I'm definitely heading in the right direction again. And that leads me into an important topic that I discussed with my mentor a few weeks back. The importance of keystone habits. So what is a keystone habit? A keystone habit is a much stronger habit than the normal habit because of the domino effect that it has on other areas of your life. For example, sleep is definitely one of the keystone habits. During this week, I've got a lot more sleep than I previously did, that will then have a domino effect on the other habits of my life. Because I have better mental clarity, I'll be able to make better choices throughout the day. That will lead to me adopting, for example, another keystone habit, which is nutrition. And when you stack these keystone habits on top of each other, you'll notice how everything becomes so much easier because you're focusing in on the foundational habits of your life, which will then allow you to perform better on the field and feel better overall in your life. Day six was the day of the test. The dopamine detox is slowly coming to an end and it's time to lace up the boots for our final game of preseason. I've started to feel sharper and sharper in training during the week, but today is truly the real test. I left at 1 p.m. to head to the ground and I had that bus of excitement rushing through my body and I haven't felt that in a while. When I headed out for the warm up, I was on a mission. I wanted to show and to prove to myself that I'm on the right track again. And then the game kicked off. And I think I had the best performance, definitely of this preseason, but I think it was my best performance in years. I played in an entirely new position as a number eight, but I still managed to create a bunch of chances from crosses. I had some great chances to get on the scorching myself, but the accuracy wasn't quite there. I felt really sharp with the ball at my feet, and I feel like I could do what I wanted with it, and that's not a feeling that I've had for the last few weeks. 
I felt quick, I felt strong, I drove at the defense, I took shots. I managed to outrun the opponents on several occasions. I even managed to find some through balls and that is not something that I usually do. And even defensively, I tackle, I won balls. And after a run in behind, I managed to get a flick on that led to the only goal of the game, the winning goal. And just before being subbed off, I had the chance to crown this performance with a goal. But the cross busted in the way. So we're here, day seven of the dopamine detox. Now it comes to the big question. Have I succeeded? Well, to be honest, no. On day five, I couldn't sleep in the night and it was the day before the game and I had nothing else to do. And then I watched some YouTube videos before I went to bed. And before the game, I had an energy drink which contained caffeine. So in a sense, I have failed the challenge, but in the end, the goal of the entire detox was to promote a change within my life. And I feel like I've done that during these seven days. It doesn't matter if you take on a dopamine detox or if it's in your football career or if it's in your day-to-day -day life. The most important thing is to recognize that one or two mistakes doesn't equal failure. Or failure, or failure. And that's where I want to finish this detox off. Mistakes are inevitable, no matter where you're headed in life. Failure will also knock on the door, but you decide if you want to open that door or not. These seven days has been quite the journey, just like life. And just like in life, you will have ups and you will have downs. You will have days where you celebrate your greatest accomplishments, but you will also have days where you don't even want to get out of bed. The important thing is to just keep going and keep striving for that change that you want in your life. And I can tell you, after these seven days, Something has changed. I have not become an entirely different person or a drastically improved footballer in seven days, but I have broken a lot of the bad habits that I have started to create that will allow me to become a better person and a better footballer in the future. I mean, I'm sleeping better and longer. I've ended a five-year relationship with caffeine. I'm not watching TV shows while into the night and I haven't consumed junk food for an entire week, and to be honest, I'm not particularly interested in doing that now either. Not after seeing the transformation of what only seven days of will, discipline, and determination could achieve. I don't know if all the positive feelings, results, and performances I've had this week is because of the dopamine detox. What I do know though, is that this dopamine detox has helped me to escape a loop, because I was stuck in a loop, loop of dopamine and maybe you are too but that is for you to find out i am back in control and now now it's your turn <laughs>